in 11th grade, I dressed up as a an orange person. Not an orange person. That sound makes it sound like I was an Oompa Loompa. I was a person selling oranges uh, with the straw hat and the... I, whenever a teacher asked, I said I was a scarecrow, but I was meant to be looking like a like a day worker of some kind. Oh my god. I think I'm going berserk. I think I'm losing my mind. I'm getting lost in the shuffle. It happens every time. Hello everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with a very special edition of Between Buddies. I'm here with my good buddy, Raccoon. Hello there, everybody. My good buddy, Jace. Hello. And my good buddy, Captain Soldier 76. Hello. Or just, or just Captain. I appreciate the the sticking with your true voice there, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I don't have it in me. I, 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 I blanked when I, I tried to think of a voice to do. <laughs> I'm not that talented. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, today's... Music. You are musically inclined, so that just gives you a one-up. Maybe you should sing a song. All right, stop everything. Sing us a Halloween song for the spirit of the season. I like to sing it. Loompa, loompa, doompa, dee, dee, doo. <laughs> this song is it Halloween related. It Booyah. is terrifying. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said at the beginning, this is a very special episode. Uh, doing one for the. I sh it should be for the 13 nights of Halloween that I'm currently planning, which is 13 nights of nonstop spooky stuff. Uh, I can't do the, the full 31 days because I think ABC Family still does the full 31 days of Halloween. <laughs> so I'm taking the old version they used to do, which is 13 nights, and I'm just going to say that's mine now. Um, but for <laughs> this one specifically, I've gathered you guys together to talk about specifically Halloween times, you know. Uh, because of the year 2020 is, there's basically no guarantee... I mean, Halloween is canceled. That's the easiest way of saying it. We can all watch any of our spooky stuff that we want, whether it be that uh, Donald Duck cartoon where he dresses up as the devil, or watch horror movies where people get chainsawed in the nuts. Whatever it may be, <laughs> whatever you do to celebrate Halloween, the way that we traditionally uh, celebrate it, which is dressing up in costumes and going to strangers' house and asking for candy, is basically no more. So specific. Get sawed in the nuts. Yeah, I've seen a lot of horror movies. There's a there's a good amount of them where someone gets chainsawed. And actually, have you ever seen the movie Basket Case? No, no. As, uh, the movie Basket Case is a movie about a man who gets separated from his uh, conjoined twin. Except for one person is clearly a person, and then the conjoined twin is like some kind of weird blob monster uh, who only has arms and teeth and a face. He's like a like a lump made person. Did and, Cronenberg direct this movie? Like, what the hell? I'm going to try and find a picture of the of the basket case monster just to show you. But at the end of that movie, uh, it ends with the basket case uh, monster picking up his brother by the nuts and lifting him high up into the air. And then they go both fall out the window. Huh. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find this creature. I don't want basketball movie. I want basket case. <laughs> Fucking Google. Okay, there it is. All right, are you guys ready for this? Let's do yes. it. Yeah. All right. You are not going to be prepared for this. I am going to have to put this fucking monster up for brief periods of the podcast, but there you go. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, okay. so, yeah, he picks him up by the nuts, and that's kind of how the movie ends. Do they fall? Basket? Yeah, he but he lives in a basket. At his hand, it's, it just sounds like he's explaining to you how to get somewhere, you know? <laughs> it does. Thought it would be. It's just like, hey guys, how's it going on? I know it looks terrifying, but like, you know, to get to the McDonald's nearby, as you guys ask, go down the street, <laughs> pass a giant stack of hair, and you know, like moisture on it, you know, and take a left right there next to the succubus. Don't mind what she's doing, you know, unless you want to stand by and watch, you have to pay for that. It just, he just looks like he's trying to help you out and give you he direction. He does, and honestly, you've already made a better movie than what the Basket Case movie is, so <laughs> if they ever do a remake, they can go by your side. So getting back on track real quick after we've looked at the Basket Case monster, um, I'll start us off. Uh, I think I've already told the story of how my father, in an act of betrayal, ate all my candy after I worked so hard to get it all. Um, 
you could see a previous <laughs> episode for the traumatic experience. So traumatic that it's really clouded a lot of my memories of Halloween <laughs> going forward. Apparently, it sounds um, like it's traumatic. <laughs> It was extremely traumatic, but I did want to at least mention three costumes that I can remember from when I was a kid. Because I one, they're really one is really funny, one is very uh, basic, and the other one is like, of course you dress as that at some point. So I'm going to start with the one, of course you dress as that at some point. I remember going as a ninja. Um, it was in elementary school, yeah, for sure, because that was back when I don't know if you guys had this in near your elementary school where all the kids that got who dressed up in costume like walked in a circle so parents could see them. Yes, there's a costume Halloween parade. parade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a Halloween parade. So um, I, I think I participated in every single one of them. Uh, one year I was a ninja, and because I was a dumb kid who was very hyperactive in his imagination, and I had, I don't know. Do you ever remember when you were little and you go like, why did I act like that? That's weird. <laughs> Stop doing that. So when, I was, <laughs> so when I was in the ninja costume, I was like, all right, I am the ninja. I must be stealthy. I was basically trying to act like Sub Zero, and then I remember kids going like, "Oh, hey, Hector," and I'd be like, "Oh shit, I said my real name." <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember. All right, I'll remember at the five minute mark. Most, the least ninja thing to say your own name. <laughs> <laughs> they would say, "Hey, Wokey." <laughs> they would say, "Hey, Wokey," and then I'd be like. They go, okay, and they would walk away from me. <laughs> and I remember as a kid, I was like, no, it's, I'm a ninja. It's perfectly acceptable. Just like I, if, I, if the wolf man started howling at me, I'd be like, that guy's in character. That's good. <laughs> what he's doing right now, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, that's one of the costumes I remember. Uh, the reason I remember is because I acted like such an idiot. And I don't 100% understand, this is another reason why I think I've said if I ever ran into my past selves, it would be on in terms of fighting, because I just have so much <laughs> disagreeing with how they act that I'd have to, in some ways, throw hands with them. Um, even if I think I was only, like, what, at most seven at the time? That's still kind of weird for a seven-year-old, right? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I understand that sentiment of wanting to go back in time and slap the younger your younger self. Yeah, I don't think I ever hurt anyone pretending to be a ninja. I didn't go full force and be like, I must assassinate my target now. <laughs> I don't think I ever took it that far, but it was all for good fun. Here's another one. Uh, this one is going to be instantly like, oh, I don't know if I ever told you this. So you guys remember when The Phantom Menace came out? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so you know how that was a, a big time for a lot of kids, so it would make sense to dress as someone from The Phantom Menace? Yes. Yeah. Bulma uh, did. Yeah, that's right. You've told me about this. Well, uh, no, I don't think you told me, but I think you... No, did you at some point? No, uh, I don't think I've ever told you, but Bulma did. Like, And the funny thing is that she's... Before we were in a relationship, she loathed Star Wars because of her siblings. Mm. Or specifically because of her old elder sister who, like, she loved Star Wars, so Star Wars was her thing. Mm. And so... Balma stayed away from it completely until like we started watching the films together and she's like, Oh, I like this. And I'm like, All Yeah. Right. It's, it's a like, happy but, comeback story. But uh, there is a uh, a fun fact story of her dressing as Queen Amidala. <laughs> <laughs> That's and great. I'll tell you more about that, but you tell me about this the okay. Star Wars party first. All right. So before I reveal what I dressed as uh, do you want to take a guess out of what from Phantom Menace a kid would be dressing up as? I'll let you, I'll start with Darth Captain. What Maul? do you think? Uh, All right. Anakin, Anakin, and uh, Pod Racer Anakin. Mm. All right. And what do you say, Raccoon? Jar Jar Binks. And <laughs> Raccoon wins. I was oh, just oh as Jar Jar. With the full-on mask, and if I remember correctly, I think my sister will deny us, but she was Princess Amidala. Um, I think it was really she. She looked fantastic in her getup. I looked like uh, Jar Jar, but just a little bit chunkier. <laughs> on the same, <laughs> if Jar Jar had the ultimate comic relief form of also being chunky, <laughs> that would be what my version of Jar Jar was. Um, 
I actually blanked this out of my memory for years until it's one of those memories where I'm like, I forget every once in a while. And then I see Jar Jar and I go, it's Jar Jar. And then like a memory triggers in my head. I'm like, I dressed as you as Halloween Jar Jar. (laughs) (laughs) No, I can't, I can't specifically tell you why. I don't know if I had a choice in the costume. I have a feeling I did. Because in a lot of ways, I think Jar Jar was kind of made for kids. So as a kid, I'd be like, yeah, Jar Jar. Then as I get older, it's like, oh, no, Jar Jar. <laughs> and it was exactly that. He was made for kids. Yeah. yeah. And kids liked him. Yeah. Mm, uh, that's true. Uh, you know, exhibit A, you know. me. Uh, and, and then you get older and then you realize, oh, this character is really weird. Racist. Like really uncomfortable weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, it's, a, a little bit racist, uh, just all over the place. A little bit like, did did you cause everything to go wrong in the Star Wars universe? Yes, yes, well, yes you did. <laughs> I do think I have a slight more appreciation of Jar Jar, but it's only because the actor has come out and said, like, hey, you know, I'm cre- you know, no one wants to give me credit for it, but I'm the first of someone to do. I'm also, he's also an African American man. He's like, I was the first one to do this. And I think it's real fucked up that one, I get shit on a lot. And then I'm not even given the credit for being the first. <laughs> Cause all I really wanted to do was just like be entertaining and have fun with it. And but like, it's not, it's not his fault. He didn't, it write is the not character. his fault. He didn't. And I kind of feel like it's uh, that enough is to make me, at least for his part, I'm like, ah, I guess, you know, he t- he did do his best and he is the first of this, but also, God, he also did that voice. That's... <laughs> <I'm-> <laughs> Lucas directed him into doing that voice. Um, yeah. It's 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 not good. So that was that's a one that's my second costume. This third costume is probably the laziest one, but it's the last one I can remember dressing up as. So in middle school, yeah, I was in middle school around eighth grade. I think a friend of mine is like, "Hey, you want to go trick or treating? We're going with my little brother. And we're gonna go around here." I was like, "Dude, it's been so long since I've gotten free candy. That sounds awesome. I'll join." He's like, "All right, uh, you should probably get a costume." I'm like, do I need one? He's like, no, you should be fine. And then when it came time for me to go with his brother, he was in costume and I was just in my sweater. And I was like, now I kind of feel like an asshole (laughs) because now it's a thing of like, I didn't know that you were also dressing up as this. And I'm a eighth grader or something. And like, well, if my friend sees me in a costume, this feels like entrapment where now he'll tell everyone like, oh no, he was in costume for this thing (laughs) to go trick or treating with my brother. And I wasn't, but he was like, no. I, I'm in costume. It's all right to do that. And I was like, oh, shit. It's like, so you, and then he told me, he's like, oh, you don't have a costume? I'm like, no, dude, I have a costume. And then I put my sweater over my head. And I'm like, I'm Kenny from South Park. And he's like, ha, huh, <laughs> I, I get it. And then he just accepted it. And then I was like, all right, shit. Now I have to keep this up for the entire night. <laughs> um, and it worked out perfectly fine until we went to an old man who was non nonplussed with my choice of costume because he looked at me in the eye after I said like, "Oh yeah, I'm Kenny from South Park," and he's like, "You look like you're just the Mexican <laughs> in the jacket of some kind. Does it look like you're <laughs> you're in the Halloween spirit?" I'm like, "Listen, man, put the Kit Kat in the bar. I'm <laughs> put the Kit Kat in my bucket, and we can <laughs> we can all have a very very Halloween after this." And after that, every time somebody asks you, you're just like, oh, I'm just a Mexican in a sweater, you know? Just after that, you just change it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I I just remembered an actual fourth cut. Co- this is actually legitimately my fourth one. I had forgotten about it just because this is another memory I blocked from my mind. I was like, why did I do this? This is hurt. This is hurtful for my people. In 11th grade, I dressed up as a an orange person. Not an orange person. That sound makes it sound like I was an Oompa Loompa. I was a person selling oranges. <laughs> uh with the straw hat and the i whenever a teacher asked i said i was a scarecrow but i was meant to be looking like a like a day worker of some kind oh my god (laughs) yeah and i sold actual oranges around high school and then i remember my mom getting angry she's like you sold the oranges i'm like yeah it was like a dollar she's like oh you those were the small oranges they were super expensive those are like five dollars an orange i'm like no wonder so many people bought them I thought I made a pretty good deal. <laughs> Apparently, I got fucked over completely. 
And thankfully, I didn't get in trouble for that one because that was the same year someone dressed as Jesus and they got automatically kicked out. What? Wait, what? what? Yeah, someone came to school in, in high school. Someone came dressed up as Jesus, and around third period, some enough Christian people had complained uh, that their Lord and Savior was walking around in Halloween. And so they're like, what? "You're either gonna need to change." clothing or leave and he said i guess i'm leaving then and he just left the school wow dude you know what i feel like a teacher did that at my high school but like he was known to be like super christian like sometimes he would kind of just go and like preach to us in class which i didn't mind i'm not particularly religious but it wasn't weird to see him do that like, actually dressed as Jesus? He dressed as Jesus, yes. It wasn't but, weird. But sincerely. Yes, very sincerely. What? Not mockingly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> to be fair, that, that dude looked a lot like Jesus. If I had not known any better, I'd be like, my savior, he's come back. Uh, a lot of kids in high school dressed as Jesus at my school. It wasn't an issue. Really? But that was, high, that, was, that was high school, I guess, you know? Yeah. I can't remember. Maybe it, there was something extreme to his Jesus. He might have been... No, because he had the shirt on. I was about to say, maybe he was on the cross Jesus, but that would have been... Uh, that's just a shirtless man in a diaper of some kind bleeding all over the place. <laughs> maybe he was tuxedo Jesus. He had one of those tuxedo shirts on. <laughs> a tuxedo shirt, but it's of Jesus. So it's just like... <laughs> Oh, man, we could make a lot of money selling that. You know how many people would be down for that if that doesn't exist already? All right, we'll, we'll talk about this later. We'll talk about it off there. <laughs> it's copy, that's copyright us, though. Copyright <laughs> my channel in this video. Patent um, pending. Patent pending. pending. Just to, fine, this is an, I just remembered another thing, but in terms of seeing someone get kicked out for a Halloween costume in middle school, um, hey, did you guys ever have homeroom? I don't know if it was like universal across everywhere. I had that yes. in middle school, yeah. All right. No. You didn't have it? So what no. homeroom was, was it was like a period between, it was either at the start of school or after first period where you would go to a specific place for 15 minutes and like read and then go on to your next class. Um, but in our homeroom for Halloween, we had a contest. It was like, all right, best contest. And I remember sitting and one of the dudes who came up had a fake plumber's ass for a costume. <laughs> Uh, he was a plumber, <laughs> and I remember the teacher going, "All right, everyone, stand up, and we'll judge your costumes." And I remember him yelling out, "He's like, all right, let me just fix my ass real quick." <laughs> 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 the teacher was like, "You're gonna have to go to the principal now." He's like, "Fuck you, what? What did I do? I like my ass is my costume. I needed to fix it." She's like, "Nope." <laughs> Go right there, and he was like, oh, "God damn it!" Uh, but I remember laughing really fucking hard because he just like, "I let me fix my ass," but like with no like hint of a joke, he was just talking extremely like that. She's like, "Ah, oh, my ass isn't right. Let me just quickly get it looking nice and good for the contest." I just um, want to say that it's a, a reflection of how times have changed that you can say bitch on the radio, but you can get sent to the principal's office for yeah, saying ass yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't say that on the radio anymore. You can't say bitch in the radio anymore? Yeah, you can't. Like, like that, that WAP song is heavily censored now on the radio. It's kind <laughs> of about to... It's like a sing-along at that point where I'm just like filling all the words myself. At that point, it's just the instrumental they're playing. <laughs> 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 Because every other word of that uh, song is filthy, so there's no way it could get on the radio. Oh, yeah, they somehow try. <laughs> you know what? Good on them for trying. Uh, so that's my Halloween uh, stories of my remembering of costumes of yore that I remember. Um, all right, who wants to go next? Well, let me finish up that story from before about oh, okay. Bulma. Uh, let ahead. me ask you a question. Did your sis you said your sister also dressed up as Queen Amidala? Mm -hmm. Um, was it the because that I know that they sold several Amidala costumes? Was it the the red red dress with the like white painted almost like almost like a geisha face with yes. the hair piece? Yes. 
Okay, was the hair piece that she had the like it's a front like it's a flat mask that you wear in the front, or was it the sculpted rubber hair piece? I don't I think I remember it not being a sculpted rubber hair piece. Okay, okay. Because the way Bulma tells it to me is that she she and another friend both dress as Queen Amidala, but she was very angry and envious of the other girl because obviously more money and mm. the nicer fucking like it had the nice sculpted hair piece. <laughs> Aww. Like this bitch, this rich bitch. <laughs> it's not enough. So we not- came we can it's like showing up in the same outfit, but one outfit is clearly better than the other. <laughs> Um, I believe that year I was Obi Wan Kenobi, and I had that little like uh, rat tail, that little rat tail clipping. <laughs> oh, but um, for whatever reason, we couldn't find Obi Wan Kenobi's lightsaber anywhere. So I was dressed as Obi Wan Kenobi, but I had Darth Maul's lightsaber. <laughs> I'm pretty Dude. sure you fulfilled somebody's like fanfic doing that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that sounds like fanfic Obi Wan, where after taking down uh, Darth Maul, he's like, you know what would be really sick though? What if a Jedi had one of these? It seems unfair that the Sith get the <laughs> get the cool shit. <laughs> but what what sucked was like during the parade, I had to extend one side, but kept the other side in, but like I'm holding it like a baseball bat because. His handle <laughs> section for his blade is so fucking long. I don't. I don't think they would. Al- I'm not sure why they allowed it then, but they super don't allow kids to wear well to to have like weapons or like accessories like that, or or masks. Like they're not yeah. allowed to wear masks, so they could yeah. not be like the ninja that you wanted to be. Not anymore, for sure. Mm-hmm. I remember. I think. At least in elementary, there was, like, a thing of, like, you know, don't make... If it was a clearly, like, a really sharp sword, keep it at home or something. No guns. That was a thing. If you were, like, a gunslinger, you had to basically make finger guns at the crowd. Yeah, no guns was definitely a thing. Uh, but I remember a decent amount of weapons. The no mask thing, that we never had that. We You could have your mask on if your mask was part of the costume or something. Um, oh, man. Did you, I don't know if you did. So did you show up to school in your costume or did you have yeah. to? Oh, man. It's so for our school, we had to show up in regular clothes. And then when the time came, you would have to then be like, OK, everyone go to separate rooms, put on your costumes. And then it was like, how, oh, how did you do that with so many kids? Yeah. So it was just a bunch of kids putting on costumes in a room um and with with adults to you know help them and make sure shit didn't get weird i guess <laughs> that feels weirder for some reason yeah it does i remember there being a specific room where i'd be like all right let me put on my clothes on the other side but i also remember having a small panic attack going i can't put this costume on with all these dudes here i can't do it <laughs> and also i don't know how to fully put on this clothes without my mom here so i'm just gonna have to keep on waiting and i remember being like she was like five minutes late or something, but to a kid that's like fifty minutes. I'm like, where the fuck's my mom? <laughs> the one? <laughs> I'm supposed to be a ninja with no ninja outfit. I'm gonna miss everything. And then she shut up. She's like, why the hell are you freaking out? I'm like, you weren't here. And she's like, I'm here now. Just shut up and put the costume on. Don't make my life harder. Well, a lot of fucking kids' costumes aren't made to be like put on by yourself. Like you gotta get tied in the back. Yeah, There's yeah, that was. Like- like a smock or something. Yeah, That's I also why that. I think some of the teachers there were in there. Um, at least from what I remember, no, it had to be female teachers for both rooms. For Because in my mind, I'm like, there's no way that there was any male teachers in both rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, at least I don't think there would be. I don't. My mind currently is being like, I remember bits and pieces of this, but society isn't like that anymore. So we can, <laughs> there was no way in hell that that would ever be allowed for anything. Um but yeah, I definitely remember that of like everyone be like, "All right, two separate rooms. Put your clo- put your put your costumes on, kids." 
See, for me, like Halloween was really like the the holiday, like my favorite holiday. And I I did trick or treating and dressing up like way, I think way into high. Oh, I have a story about the uh, the last time I was supposed to go trick or treating. Ooh. Uh, and this was actually in high school in the ninth grade. We had just become uh, freshmen. And obviously all of us were getting way too tall because we couldn't pass as like little kids anymore. Mm-hmm. But so this was going to be like the last time we did Halloween trick or treating as a group. And so like me and my buds were like had a plan of like, okay, we're going to go. We're going to walk around all the city here and these hicks. We're going to hit this up and then we're going to go bother our friend at his house because his parents won't let him come out, but we'll just bother him anyways. <laughs> throw an egg at his window. Yeah, ba- basically. Well, not like throw an egg or not terrorize him, but <laughs> just harass him, I suppose, in some weird way. It's like, ha ha, ha ha, you can't come out, but we're going to come up to your bedroom window and just spend time with you because we you're a friend and this yes. sounded like this sounded like the perfect mix of like oh cool we get to go do halloween and also we're gonna do cool teen shit like we're gonna be edgy and fucking <laughs> drink the legal oh. beer <laughs> no <laughs> no i was a good kid we weren't gonna do that All I, right, think one, I think one kid uh, one of my friends had like a BB gun with them. It was like oh. just just in case things get hairy. And I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, sure, for protection. <laughs> this is not. It's not like it's the suburbs of Burbank. You're totally. Hmm. <laughs> you're totally fine. <laughs> it's not like this is an all white neighborhood, and you're absolutely fine it's not like this was the basis of the suburb for edward fucking scissor hands or anything <laughs> <laughs> it's not like tim burton grew up in burbank and it was the base of every suburban home that he put in his artwork no this is dangerous town i do kind of like in an, alternate was... universe, in an alternate universe he totally had to use that bb gun and it, and it was it, it's like it's a uh... In my mind, it goes like, oh, man, I'm preparing for this, and he goes to shoot, and he fucking hits himself in the eye with the recoil. <laughs> <laughs> the oh gun, it did nothing. He's still there sneak on me. He would, though. Like, the... <laughs> my friends were dumb. <laughs> my friends were dumb. But I was so excited to go do this thing. Like, and we all had, like, scary costumes that year, and I don't know why I thought this would be scary. It wasn't scary in the slightest. It was emo as shit. Because yeah. obviously I was, like, this was, like, the first progressions of, like, me getting into that phase in high school. It's, but, it's like, uh, around the time Sasuke was out, which was a big hit to the emo movement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, And I decided I'm going to be, for this Halloween... An angel of death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And essentially, <laughs> no, not, oh, iron- I- not ironically. <laughs> Unironically. Genu- genuine. Genuine. Oh my gosh. Genuinely. Suddenly, uh, my Jar Jar is looking a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and keep in mind, this is. This is, it has to be 2009. It was 2000. No, sorry, not 2009. That's way too. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I was thinking ninth grade. Um, no, it was two thousand five. Four, four, yeah, four. Thank you. Not that much better, but two thousand four. Sure. Um, and so I, I, I don't buy like at the time you couldn't buy really good like angel wings. <laughs> they're all like for sexy costumes and like, <laughs> like little oh, I like and like going. and that alone like you couldn't even fucking find them in black at the time yes. so what I did was I took I, I purchased several yard rulers and made a frame system for the wings so that would be lightweight I attached it to a backpack hookup this thing was massive 
Mm -hmm. And then I put like layered papers and started gluing feathers to the paper as like inner frame. So like I could literally open and close these wings. Jesus Christ. Like not like um it's like it? Angel not, not, not from not as, the X-Men 3. Yeah. Well, not as good as like Dogma like <laughs> wing, oh. But they were pretty impressive, especially for like a ninth grader. Like I built some cool ass shit and they had like straps on the side so I can grab them by the hands and like lift my arms up and it just raised up. Uh-huh. I spent two months building these fucking wings. And when they were done, they looked awesome. They got splattered with, uh, I, I put fake blood on them. Uh, and the costume itself wasn't really anything. It was just like a torn hoodie where the wings would stick out. And <laughs> so just, in the actual I, costume department is where you're just like, hey, I got the wings. <laughs> yeah, like, I, got, I got the wings. I put some blood on myself. I'm good to go look at me on the angel of death. <laughs> it's fantastic. I look, <laughs> I look great. Um, you you were basically good omens before good omens. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. And so I get to school excited to show my buds. And like I see them in the like, you know, before before class starts, <laughs> uh, before like first period. So like, all right, cool. Well, we'll meet you after class at uh, at the front of the school. And this is how we're going to do it. You know, uh, but we were, you know, we were getting all together. Mm. First period rolls around. I'm not feeling so hot. This is the so I go I go to the nurse's office, and before I could reach the nurse's office, I pass out in the office floor like <laughs> full costume, wings spread out. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the I hit the floor with like all my weight and like I passed out. I fell asleep. I, I I had like a crazy fucking fever that I just completely ignored because I was like, I'm gonna power through all of this and it's gonna be the best and last Halloween ever. Fantastic. I passed out. I woke up, guys. I was at home. It was nine PM. What? And my mom had made me chicken soup. And <laughs> <laughs> That's how I spent that fucking Halloween. Or you were you eating the the chicken soup in the angel costume at least angel of death costume? <laughs> so your wings were out. No, nah, I just had the hoodie on, and I was, you know, when you wake up from a nap, you're just real sweaty. Yes, yeah, it's like the thing. worst feeling ever, and then it's the worst feeling like realizing that like ah, oh, I missed everything, yeah. and, and that the office employees had to see like like a team just on the floor like with huge like full body sized wings <laughs> bloody on the floor and I can only imagine how fucking panicked they must have been because if I hit the floor there must have been blood everywhere like oh. fake blood did you like? Was there any like sores on your body? And you looked at it, it was like, oh, that's that's a clear indication blood came out. Like, no, nah, I was well, I fell face first. So I was <laughs> like, but like the rest of it, I don't remember. I, I literally woke up at home. No idea mm -hmm. how they managed that. They had to pick me up, and I could tell you, ninth grade Kevin, still pretty tall, still pretty big. I don't know how they managed. But they it, did. It's okay. <laughs> they they called your friend and he showed up with the BB gun and shot you. <laughs> I was preparing for this. And uh, so that was my last Halloween. And I'll tell you one more costume story, I suppose, yeah. which is not really interesting. It was 2003. This is another like late one. Uh, a friend of mine. He and I had been like reading scanlations of Naruto, and this is like the anime hadn't come out yet. It's two thousand three. Oh, like yeah. the anime has not been produced. We're literally just reading scans of the manga online because he had the internet. And for that Halloween, he was Naruto, and I was uh, Kabuto because I was like, oh. 
He's got glasses. And ninja <laughs> info cards. Yeah, ninja <laughs> info cards. And he's got glasses and it looks fucking cool. And so we like home brewed these costumes. Well, actually, his mom made his, so he's actually looked pretty legit. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you remember what Kabuto looks like. I, I do remember because of the Ninja Info cards video. <laughs> yeah, without any context, like if it, it just imagine a world where you don't fucking know Naruto, oh, because God. this is what like the world was. Because America didn't fucking know what Naruto was. No. Nobody fucking knew what that shit was except for us. No, and is that a Goku? Other, other weebs and so we went to like universal city walk and we're like yeah we're gonna fucking show off our costumes it's gonna be cool and we're gonna trick-or-treat at these little shops and we go to things from another world which was a comic book store there i don't know if it's still there um but it, it, it was if if you've been to city walk it's the one that had like the spaceship crashed into the side of it Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Um, so we go there hoping that, like, oh, maybe someone would recognize. And someone did. Someone recognized us. Uh, especially, you know, which was wild because there was no cosplay headbands that were sold at the time. They were, like, literally, like, we glued tinfoil to headbands. Yeah, the, the Hot Topic had not begun <laughs> selling ninja, headband, ninja headbands. Yeah. And um, my friend, obviously, blonde hair, he looks like Naruto. He's wearing, a, like, an orange tracksuit. Like, th there's, even though it's homemade, it's, it's obvious that he's Naruto. Me, on the other hand, glasses, white hair, um, something around my neck, like a collar. Mm -hmm. And... What must look like the craziest fucking thing, because like Kabuto has like bandages around his mid center. Mm -hmm. So I must have looked like a fucking psychopath with just bandages around my mid center and then bandages on my leg, and then my arm, my my arms in like he has he has short sleeves, but he also wears like these wrist braces. But uh, I'm just wearing like these arthritis wrist braces that I purchased. <laughs> And someone says to us, oh, you're Naruto and you're Kakashi. Oh. And I was like, no! <laughs> I, I mean, that's a step up if you think about it. <laughs> it is, but it's not accurate. You needed the ninja info cards, man. Without them, no one can tell who Kabuto is. I like how Woke is like, yeah, you need those ninja cards, man. Those ninja information cards. That would... No that was the one thing that you didn't my, have. Yeah, my body's too intense for these ninja info cards. Yeah. They're chakra encoded. His ninja info cards. But that was the one thing. Not the face mask, but the ninja card. <laughs> I would have sold the whole thing. Oh, wait, damn. That was before the anime came out. Damn, then you were really just lost. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. I, cause, okay, I don't remember the cards in the manga. And if they were, they weren't like animated and colorful and shit. No, yeah. so the, the the reason I'm bringing up Ninja Info Card so much is that it was a popular meme with the someone did a uh, song remix of Ninja Info Cards to the dub version of it of Kabuto going like the like my chakra encoded the my Ninja Info Cards like it was like <laughs> it was a full song breakdown I still remember it to this day and that's the reason why I love Kabuto so much uh, is the Ninja Info Card song but then it just dawned on me oh yeah you're only manga so there's no way for the Ninja Info Cards to be seen as imported yeah. man that's a tough no. cosplay or in your case Halloween dress up which is basically the same thing basically the same thing uh, yeah so uh, I'm just a big fucking nerd uh, who else wants to tell their three costume <laughs> <laughs> Or memories of Halloween. Do you got anything, uh, Raccoon? Doesn't have to be costumes, but you can definitely tell us a Halloween I, memory. You know what? I Okay, I got two. I remember... These are like quite recent, just because I have a terrible memory from my childhood. But like quite recently, I remember like going through a corn maze for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like five plus years ago. And at the time, I was kind of working like, you know, full-time salary job. And my friends, we're all just like, running away from all these, you know, chainsaw wielding costume, you know, 
uh, actors, you know, you know, but like I remember getting a phone call and having to stop in the middle of like this adrenaline pumping like experience, but like, ah oh, shit, it's work. Pull it off to the side, hop on the phone, and then there's this guy right behind me going, ah, ah, ah. I have to like I look at him and just hold a finger up and he's like, Oh, okay. And he just like <laughs> waits, you know? And I'm just like having this conversation. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, you know. And after I hang up, I look at him and it's like, okay, um, I'm done here. Thank you so much for money. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. I, I get it. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, can we? And he's like, yeah. And then just like that, like we just resume. <laughs> so like, actual courtesy of that one actor was great. Uh, I will commend him on that. <laughs> that's uh, great. Yeah. And then uh, another one I have of recent, I have like these little cousins. They're like, right now they're about to head into middle school, but like, uh, when they're in, of course, they're younger, you know, and um, I took him out trick or treating as their older cousin because their parents didn't want to, you know, and um, one of them, I, I don't want to give his real name, but like, he's at that age where like, urinals are still a, like a weird concept in a kid's mind. You know, it's still a weird concept to me if we're being real right here. If we're going to yeah. be real about urinals, I still don't understand how we as a men decided that urinals were okay. <laughs> Yeah. And like wait, wait, wait. You know what's really weird about urinals? Ur ur urinals. <laughs> urinals. Yeah. Is that men can like understand the concept of that unspoken rule where you gotta leave a space in between, but then you got other dudes just out in this pandemic not even like caring about social distancing. Boom. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Damn, you're right. If only that, wow, I never thought about that, but you're right. That makes sense. Yeah. Huh. huh. You've broken this case wide open. If only we, you had been there on the marketing team to be like, do it like you're at the urinal, and then people would be like, oh, shit, he's right. <laughs> cover your fucking face like you're scared to show your pee-pee to me. Exactly. <laughs> cover your face like it's your penis. No one can see your shit. Yeah. <laughs> at least act scared. <laughs> or at least try. <laughs> I'd be terrified if people are like, I'm not scared. It's like, I wish you hadn't told me that. Well, you know, like, like there's those kids at the urinal where they, they had no idea of, like, how to, you know, use the urinal, so they just kind of, yeah. like, drop out completely, you know? Yes. And, like, as they get older, you kind of have to show them, no, you ain't gotta, you just pull that particular part out, and you do that, you know? Um, my particular, like, baby because of the time was at that age where urinals were not exactly a thing in his mind, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and he was just used to just drop and chop the toilet. Cause yeah, he, he just yeah. mastered the, the 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 toilet seat. Yeah, he just mastered getting it into the toilet, you know. So I take this kid out trick or treating with all the other little cousins, and then at one point, like, I need a pee, and I'm like, oh, shit, we're out in the middle of the neighborhood. Well, luckily, I know this neighborhood, you know. So I know a perfect place for you to pee in. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I didn't know. Like, that's it, like it's been so long since I've trick or treated at this point. I'm like, I don't know. I don't look. It'd be really weird for me to ask this. But, like, this kid, he's adorable. So he goes up, but he also speaks his mind. So he goes up, and instead of going trick or treat, he goes, I need a pee to the, like, the lady. And the lady's all like, oh, he's so adorable. Go ahead and use our bathroom. And I was like, before I can say anything, he just runs inside. And somehow oh, no. where the toilet is, right? And, like, I chase after him. I'm like, I'm sorry about this. I go after him. And, like, the door's, like, wide open. And before I can say anything, he just, like, drops trowel right there and just starts peeing. And he, just, he lifts up his shirt, too. You know? <laughs> He doesn't get on his shirt, so like, I'm look. I look at this lady. And like, it's smart. I, yeah, all you see knows that I'm like, I'm sorry. He's clearly potty trained, but he's learning. He's <laughs> and, yeah. And she's it's fine. his first day. It's his first day out uh, trick or treat like this. Luckily, she was a trooper. Uh, but I haven't brought this memory up to this kid. I'm waiting until he's 13 so I can like really embarrass him about that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, for those of you out there who have to take children out trick-or-treating, remember, remember to have them pee before they start trick-or-treating, before you have to expose other, uh, you know, adults to their little child bums. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that reminds it's not Halloween related, but I will say, uh, one time, I think when I was middle school, I badly needed to use the bathroom, we were walking to a friend's house, and I was like, dude, are we going to make it to your house in time? And we were like, maybe... 
two blocks away and i was like dude i cannot hold it the 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 crap inside me just wants to leave the body and he's like all right let me ask the neighbors and see if anyone will allow you into their house and i would I, I remember when he has like man there was like a lady who's like ma'am can i please use your bathroom and i clearly had the look of a man who could not hold it anymore she's like okay sure it's over there and then my friend had to very awkwardly like be where it was like yeah he's a he didn't go after leaving the 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 um Charles Jr. big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember feeling real weird because I was like, thank you so much. And I was like, I really hope I don't know how long she's gonna be there. Um but I really hope she didn't immediately go into the bathroom because I if you if you're in that situation and someone just took a crap in your bathroom, do you wait until you're like, I don't want any I don't like my smell. I don't like the idea of someone else's smell in my nose now. <laughs> no, that that's that. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, I can I can take my own brand, but I would not wish that on anybody. Yeah, exactly. So I always think of like I hope that lady had some good ass luck to her because she was a, an <laughs> angel for allowing me. <laughs> oh man! All right, uh, Captain. What do you got for a uh, Halloween memory? I got... So I don't normally dress up for Halloween. Like, me dressing mm. up for Halloween is more of an adult me thing, which is hilarious, because it's supposed to be the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can... Now that I can buy my own costumes and shit, or just come up with stupid ideas, it's like, you know, no holds barred. You can be whatever the fuck you want. It's true, but, as opposed uh, this, to a kid. <laughs> This this is a story of like in high school similar to uh Jace. This is when uh we're you know obviously of the same class, not the same school, just the same class. Uh but this is uh we he would have also been a sophomore. Um and I remember that morning my friends like, hey man, you wanna hang out for Halloween? I'm like, Yeah, sure. But at that when he asked that, I wasn't thinking of like trick-or-treating or anything. I was like, hell yeah, I'm in my friend's house, I'm gonna hang out. They probably have a shit ton of candy and I'm just gonna play games all night. Cause I'm pretty sure Halloween was like on a weekend. Or no, it was on a Tuesday night. Never mind. Either way, mm-hmm. uh we're the idea was to have fun. Not necessarily trick or treat, because that's like a you know, a little kid thing. Mm-hmm. But like halfway or not even halfway, like somewhere along the way, like we should go trick or treating. Nobody had fucking costumes. There were four of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, just grabbed whatever was at my friend's uh, closet at the time. I don't know what half of us dressed up as, but one of my friends had already like come to school wearing a tie-dye shirt. So his his thing was like, I'm going to be a hippie. So he put on like a... He wrapped like this piece of cloth around his head. And he, he has a big-ass fro. Oh, oh so that like, really helped. Yeah, that really helps. So just his big ass fro has a headband, has a tie dye shirt. He's wearing some like boot cut jeans, and to really sell the costume as a hippie, he took his shoes off. Oh god! <laughs> he, took, he took his shoes off. So he's just walking. I mean, you know, and it's not like we're we were uh, supporting him in his decision to take his shoes off. We're like, that's a stupid idea. Uh, well, he did it. So he's walking around in cold, dark pavement barefooted the entire night or at least until we're trick-or-treating anyway uh our friend has like this uh you know those uh trapper hats with the fur like yeah. i think they're commonly referred to as russian hats the boots with the fur <laughs> half a bottle of boots. <laughs> yes yeah i know yeah. okay trapper hats, yeah okay so one of our friends uh put one of those on he's like I'm, I'm gonna be a russian i was like i don't care and then my <laughs> Dad was like, here, here's a golf club. You could be a golfer. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and this is like BB gun thing. I was like, I can also use it for protection. So why the fuck not? He's <laughs> someone trying to fucking start shit with me. I got the golf swing. <laughs> this is also like in a really white, predominantly white suburban neighborhood. That was not an issue. <laughs> why are they so afraid that things are going to happen to them? <laughs> Fucking no. Oh, anyway, <laughs> we fucking you know four of us. I don't even remember what my my other friend's costume was, but we we make our way out. 
we'll get some grocery bags and just uh, start going door to door. Uh, I want to say it was around like eight o'clock, so it was pretty dark outside, and like most of the kids had already done their trick or treating, and it was just some some parents, not a lot of foot traffic, but. A lot of these houses that had just like put their candy outside, not even like you don't even go to the door, you just kind of just grab it and then go on your way. It was a good neighborhood too, by the way. They had all my favorite candies, which are like, you know, <laughs> Snickers and Kit Kats and shit. Oh, you didn't get hit with a dentist who gave yeah, you Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But uh so we make our way around maybe like two blocks and we had like a pretty generous amount of candy. But on our way out the first time, we passed by this like this this house it just just smelled this fucking smelled like reeked of weed and, you know 2005 was a different time but it did, just smelled did you know what weed smelled like at the time yeah yeah okay cuz i like I, did. I, I didn't know i just remember like when i was younger i was like man it smells like skunk everywhere <laughs> <laughs> so that's the fucking lie that's the fucking lie you tell you so you won't know what it actually is but yeah, I was just like, this house is, smells like fucking weed. And then um, we do, we, we continue on our like path and then we circle back around and then we pass by the house again. And I don't know what happened to like kind of uh, transition into what happened next. But I remember having to run down the street and jump into bushes because my friend did something and like we were getting chased by a car afterwards. Wait, what? What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he did something to that house. Did you use the golf club? <laughs> I was the one with the golf club. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he did something, and then, like, drove out, and then they started, like, chasing him. And then we were, like, at another house, but he's, like, he was running. He was, like, coughing and puffing. He's like, was, like, bro, what the fuck is going on? He's like, bro, just run. Just fucking run. And then he, like, <laughs> ran up. Like, we got to, like, an intersection. He ran up the street, and I saw this car, like, headlights beaming in our eyes, like, you know, like, deer. And, like, we're like, well, shit, what the fuck do we do? So we went the opposite direction. He's like, well, if we split up, he can't catch all of us, right? And also, he's mad at him, not me. I don't give a fuck. So we ran down the street. And then, when, like, a few houses down, we jumped into some bushes, and we were, like, ducking there for, like, ten minutes. And then the car just disappeared. But we still had to pass by it to get back to the house. What the? F- what the? F- <laughs> this, this story went from like zero to one hundred so quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm still confused as to why though. I, you know, I don't know. He never fucking said why we were just being chased by a car for some fucking reason. But like after a while, we thought it was safe, so like we went, we took like the back way back to his house, and like my friend, like we all met up, still not wearing shoes, by the way. Like we start, we we continue trick or treating, and then he gets to this one house, and then like, no, we weren't like pissed off, but we we're like, bro, you're fucking stupid for like the rest of the night, and he's like as happy as can be because he has a fucking gigantic bag of candy, and then this motherfucker kind of just like runs off on his own, and then we hear him like fucking slip and hit a car, and he's like, oh, my candy. <laughs> 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 he fucking dropped his entire bag of candy and just spilled on the floor because he fucking ran into mud and slipped. Oh. But for like the rest of the way back, he was like, trick or treat. And he's like, I dropped my bag of candy, so can you just put it in their bag? <laughs> Damn. That sucks. That's a weird f- night for it's like the exact opposite of Jace in terms of like w- what Jace would have happened if he had actually not passed out. Yeah, you know, I genuinely believed had I gone out, we probably would have gotten into some stupid shit. It just happens it when you're that when you're that um, old and you're just hanging out at Halloween and people immediately don't trust you. It's like a 100 <laughs> on the awareness scale of like, these kids are about to start some shit. I don't know what, but they are. Man. I kind of wish that I had uh that experience but because of me always being you know very much at home i never had the experience of going out and doing dumb shit all my dumb shit didn't happen till college i mean it was pretty tame until that moment (laughs) we got chased by a car come college that's when that that dumb shit gets even dumber you know because that's when all kinds of weird shit get involved drugs substances sex all those horror movies were onto something you know 
basing a lot of their stuff with like college students. What what you did last summer, Green. Um, what else is there? Uh, cabin in the woods. You know. Yeah, uh, I've never been in a cabin in the woods. That sounds one terrifying. Why would you ever want to be in the cabin in the woods? There's no internet in the cabin in the woods. Oh uh, well, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's yeah. very very cozy. I would say. I'm not yeah. sure if I was in a cabin, but I was in a cabin like setting, and it was very cozy. Maybe yeah. if the cabin had a Super Nintendo, you know, like, then I would be kind of down to. Nowadays, cabins do have what uh, not woods. Cabins do have internets now because mm. you know they gotta like those Airbnbs gotta sell them somehow, right? That's true. Yeah, let's go to a cabin, guys. Actually, now stay home. No, no. <laughs> That's... Not in 2020. I'm not gonna go to no cabin. No, you're right. Uh, it was hey, very man, dumb. Look. All we got to do is uh, we all go get tested, and then after the test, we quarantine ourselves until we get the results. And then if we're all clear, we can go to the cabin. A That's friend true. of mine, uh, for his like uh, bachelor slash bachelorette party, what he did is that he got a whole bunch of like friends together. Like I'm talking like 30, 40 people got like a big ass, not cabin in the woods, but like it was like a small village town-ish area. And up in the middle of like Seattle, where it's practically like in the woods, you know, it was actually quite nice. Come to think of it, because he had like luckily the place had internet access, so like there was like board games all about, plenty of alcohol, plenty of like video games as well. So I can say my experience when it comes to cabins in the woods have actually been not bad. So I would recommend you just gotta have you just gotta find the right place for that. Do uh, we still do we still have woods in California? I probably I don't know <laughs> Big Bear. <laughs> Big bear? I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll go find some cabins in the woods to die in. All right, you report back, Raccoon. Uh, I won't be able to probably if I die in those woods. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try if you get a Ouija board. Has anybody seen that movie, by the way? No, I'm not a fan of like scary movies. Oh, but it's the time of the year, isn't it? Ooh. No, scary. Scary, too scary. Scary. <laughs> you know what? I I did I did like experience um uh, what's the uh, Universal Studios' Halloween uh thing? Hall- Fright Night? Oh yeah. Horror Nights. Horror, yeah. Horror Nights. Yeah. All right. So I experienced that for the first time a few years back. That shit was funny. And like yeah. I I I wasn't particularly getting scared by like all the guys in costumes running around chasing you and shit, mm-hmm. but they fucking got me. Like Cause they got my my cousin who was like visiting from Hawaii, mm-hmm. and um, he like screamed and ran away, and then I was laughing, and I, I was so busy like distracted by that that like one had snuck up like right next to me, and their face was like right next to mine. So when I turned my head, their 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 mouth was just in my like my eyes, and then I screamed, and then I started laughing because it was funny that they got me. <laughs> I love those things. Uh, this was at Universal Studios, was it? Yeah. 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 Uh, did you ever go to like any of the movie mazes? Uh, I did the Titans of Terror, and there was another one, but I don't remember which one it was. Nice. I remember. I went to that like sometime last year. Uh, only went on to like, two of those mazes. The Us one was really impressive, come to think of it. Because um, like, I was more impressed by the set design more than anything. <laughs> Of course you'd be. <laughs> yeah, it's like I mean that's the thing. Like well, uh, when it came to like costumes, I would always I would always do, like a zombie face kind of deal. And after like seeing like how the sausage is made, you know, I I kind of don't get scared. I'm like, how the hell did you guys make that blood pump out of the face? That's really interesting. So like I pull out like you know like the magnifying glass to see how they do it. The us one was really great because like I mean you guys have seen the movie, right? Um, I haven't gotten the chance to see it yet. Oh. I just know that it's like I know of it. Oh yeah, it's the way they did that was interesting because they took like the you, you know the um what do you call it that boardwalk over at Santa Cruz, the one yeah. that based off of yeah they brought that over to I mean not literally brought it but they brought it made a setting kind of based off that over at Universal Studios and like you remember how they're like hey you can't touch anybody over here but you can really just scare the shit out of them. Like they made that a rule over the past several years, actually five, ten years. Um, since then, like I was wondering, like how do they, how do they scare the shit out of you? And they did a very good job of that because when you have somebody like running towards you with a pair of scissors in their hands, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> fight or flight kicks me real fast. And as much as I told myself, don't, no, this is not, like, it's still terrifying. <laughs> but, I mean, it is terrifying. Like, yeah. You know, I, I can only imagine uh, a, only a scarier thing would, would be, I don't, I don't fucking know. I was trying to do a transition because Wokey got stolen. <laughs> what, candle Jack, do you mean? Yeah. You're not supposed to say Candle Jack or else. Oh, that's right. Oh, shit. It's just me now. Um, yeah. Uh, Wokey. Uh, Wo- Wokey's gone because, well, his, his family's watching Fox News and the most terrifying of all news. And uh, the other two, well, they just got Candle Jacked. Goodbye, everyone.